What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor and this is Tech Tuesday. Today we are reviewing this tripod for cell phones coming right up. Now, I am starting the video on the move like this because I do want to compare. After this specific shot, we're going to be switching to the LG Wing, and with this phone carrier, uh, I'm going to have some first impressions that I already recorded when I first opened the box, so let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm starting the month here. We're going to be just going with the built-in microphone. Uh, are we? All right, now we are on the H1N Zoom. Whoa, whoa, I'm going to drop it. That's going to happen. Uh, I need to really need to learn to like look at the camera. I'm he what's up? I'm, I'm looking at you. So anyway, I'm starting the month here because uh, I really want to give this its paces. Uh, first impressions. This is basically right out of the box. Uh, I am not a huge. It's like not a tall. Like it's, not, it's a short grip. Like it's not a great product. That's rude. That's rude. I just out the gate. I'm like it's not a great product. It's cheap. It should be cheaper. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not doing a great job with this so far. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to use this going forward for vlogging because I feel this is better than me just doing this. Uh, just like holding it with my hand. Plus, it's going to be a little little better. I can still move around and you guys are going to get a little better experience for vlogging. Plus, uh, on top of all that, uh, I can always extend out and get a really nice wide angle. Please excuse the mess. I will be addressing that in a video shortly uh, on the main channel here. Uh, but for now, uh, yeah, this is what we've got so far. First impressions, okay, not bad. The, the grip is comfy. Th that's, that's like the first big thing. The grip is nice and foamy. It's comfy. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Um, not a huge fan of the ball head. It's not very strong. I've gotten it tight down as, as much as possible. And right now, this is just me adjusting it on the fly, tighten down as far as it can go without me breaking it. So not a huge fan of that. Well, it is plastic, so you're gonna get what you're gonna get. We'll check in in a few days after I've used it for a while vlogging and see how it goes. All right, so here I am in my car. I've actually got the arms wrapped around the steering wheel because usually it, my, my camera is off to the side, but this way I can get set up with a nice straight on Boom. My only problem right now with this rig, with this, see, it's like moving. It's not, it's not a strong enough mount. The mount itself is what's bothering me right now. The tripod is fine, but the mount is cheap. So what I'm going to do to eliminate, because the, the cheap mount is something that all of these companies add to these kits. It's the same cheap mount. To eliminate that as a point of contention for myself, uh, for the next clips going forward, I will be switching to the more sturdy one that I prefer that I've used with my phone and that I know works and will keep it in place. Uh, that way I'm, I can just focus on the tripod itself and not the kind of generic accessory phone mount. So that's what's going to be coming next. So far though, the, the arms are good. I mean, like it's just a steering wheel. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's solid. The ball joint right now, the, the ball head is the only thing that is kind of giving me pause, uh, even fully tightened. And we're going to just try it right out that, I mean, you can see I pulled, I pulled, uh, and I can still adjust. Now it is, it is like a stiff adjustment for sure. Uh, but my other problem is that the, the mount is like unscrewing and I've tightened it. So I'm going to switch mounts and hopefully that'll, that'll help that whole situation. Oh, really? I guess I'm not recording with the uh, mic this time, but this is nice to be able to go a little farther away. However, as we all know, the car is a nice insulated place and gives good audio. And I've got to wait for this to de defrost. Now I'm just playing. That this is Chicago. It, it was 60, then it was 20, and now it's 40. No, it's 37. But no, nonetheless, it's not frozen. Is my point. <laughs> Let's do this. It's 2:17. Checking some headlines. Concerts are returning to Wrigley Field this summer. The Cubs saying they are rescheduling shows by Lady Gaga, Guns N' Roses, Chris Stapleton, and others that were canceled because of the pandemic last year. Looking at sports, Blackhawks lost to the Panthers yesterday. 
Bulls hosting Oklahoma City tonight at 8 o'clock. Women's College Basketball Northwestern earned a spot in the NCAA tournament in San Antonio. Partly tonight. You studied this around the world, uh, so tell me, who are the worst offenders? Are we talking rich countries, poor countries? Does it matter? Well, that was one of the most astonishing things about doing work on this report. That was ridiculous. I wasn't expecting that. But hey, we dealt with it. So that little bit was held up on this thing. This this uh, tripod just kind of wrapped around it. It is kind of not straight now. Let's see. I mean, it's no no worse than any of the other ones. I gotta say, this foam is nice to be able to just like hold onto it and not be uncomfortable and not have stuff like poking at you. So that's nice. All right, so now we've spent a couple weeks with this. I'm, I wanted to spend a month with it, but then I was kind of like, why would I spend this much time for A, such a cheap product, and B, basic products, right? It's, it's a tripod. I get it, tripods. It pretty much does what it needs to do. There's really not much else to it uh, besides a couple little factors that are just kind of unique compared to other tripods. It's really just a tripod, right? It, it, it tripods pretty well. Once you, you know, if you get the legs straight, it'll, it'll tripod, it'll hold your phone in place. There's nothing really to consider there. There are a couple features to consider, however. I don't know if you've been hearing this noise, but this, this uh, adjustment knob for the ball head is, it's, it's floppy. It just moves around so like if you're filming especially if there's a phone on it this is going to move around especially if you're not like i'm doing secondary audio if you're not doing secondary audio you're going to catch this regardless of what happens so that's kind of a it's kind of a downer right however i will say it does tighten pretty well eventually i say eventually because at first it did not and i was like oh i can still move like this feels like it's pretty tight and i can still move it right i gotta really crank it and even to the point that, you know, I, I, I bruise my, my finger, but then it becomes much, much harder to move around. Now, it's still kind of like a, you can still last minute adjust it. But what I feel is happening is that because this is plastic, you're basically never going to be able to not move this. Compared to the metal one that I use on my main tripod, it's never going to be the same. And the big drawback there is that this ball head is attached. There is no removing this. This is just part of the design. So there's just no way around that. Whereas on the one that I always use, that's removable and I can put my, my tack form head on there and have all the options that I want in the world. Now you'll notice I'm using this different, uh, this different top piece. I actually think, hmm, was this, I forget where I got this actually. I, I, I genuinely don't remember. But it came with this guy, and this is kind of the default. This is kind of the default accessory for phones that comes attached, and I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all because for my phone, especially because my phone is larger, it is not great. Because even like not doing anything, see, like I, <laughs> this doesn't happen. Like it just kicked it out of the case. <laughs> like stay in the case. Like it, it doesn't happen with other things with, with this mount, uh, it locks in on the case itself. So like, I don't know if I can show this here. So like, see it like latches onto it. So it's, it's like the right thickness precisely. So then it's pressing on the case and it's holding the case. So then it's kind of like serving dual duty. Like it's not going to come out of this and it, it's made me way more comfortable to, to use it this way because without this it's not gonna it's not gonna stay on the on the tripod the only drawback to that is that this that then does make it more offset because the this is full and it really can't get around my buttons but that's something I'm willing to sacrifice for security and not not have to replace my phone in like two weeks now the grip is really nice these are really nice and padded um, I mean there's just really nothing else to say about that they're nice it's foam it's a really comfortable grip. It's also very, very, very light compared to the other tripods that I've used. That's actually where I got that shot hanging off the uh, the visor because it's it's light enough that it's not like pulling down the visor. So I was just able to wrap this around the visor and close the visor and I got a, a nice wide angle, you know, upside down shot. And I genuinely don't think that I could do that with the tripod that I use, even with the phone. Overall, not a bad product. However, I will say, I don't think it's worth the 14 bucks. 
It's $13.99 and I do not think it is worth the 14 bucks. Uh, now I will say this was something that was, um, I, I, I want to say provided, but like they covered most of the cost, whatever. I got a severe discount <laughs> and uh, they, they, you know, they contacted me to review this. So that is what it is. But at the same time, I'm going to be super honest with you guys because that's what we do around here. We do honest reviews and I don't think it's worth 14 bucks. Like if this was eight bucks, 10 bucks even, yeah, this would be, I would say a good option at 10 bucks. Over 10 bucks, you, you just have better options out there. There are just better choices. Yeah, are they gonna be maybe not as comfortable? Sure, but realistically, unless you're filming all the time, at which point you're gonna want a better tripod anyway, you're not holding it that often. So like if it is uncomfortable, even though I wouldn't say the other one's uncomfortable, this is just more comfortable because it's padded. Even if it is less comfortable, you're only shooting for 10 minutes at a time. I was gonna say 10 seconds, but like let's say 10 minutes at a time is what you're shooting. You're, it's not gonna get to a point where you're like, oh man, like my hand hurts or whatever. I don't think this has the major advantages to, to make me switch permanently. Now I might keep this for the phone, but I'm definitely gonna have to do something about this, this flippity floppity nonsense here. Um, it would be nice to just have a tripod to grab just for the phone, because then when I do vlogging, I don't have to switch things off my tripod, you know, like I could just have something for the phone and th that's nice, it's useful. But like, you gotta have a different mount on it. I just, unless you have a small phone, this just isn't good. This is, I, honestly, if it was 10 bucks and didn't come with this, I would still say it's worth it because this is a garbage attachment. Like, I hate this thing so much. These aren't good, these aren't quality. They add it to like, make it feel, make it feel like you're getting something more out of it, but you're not. Uh, it, it did also come with like a remote, but it's like the same Bluetooth remote. They included everything, so that's kind of a non-thing. It works, it, it Bluetooths and it remotes. Like, <laughs> it's just, there's not really much to that. The main, the, 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 the feature attraction, the feature attraction for the $14 is this whole thing, and I do not think it is worth $14. I think 10, if it's on sale and it's 10 bucks, absolutely. But just like this, it's stupid. I like, that's stupid. What a stupid, there are hundreds of different designs for, for these grips. Why pick one that's flippity floppity? Frustrating. But anyway, that's gonna be it. If you are interested, maybe if it is on sale, currently it doesn't appear to be on sale, but if you are interested, link down below, of course, affiliate link. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.